beep, beep. Do you hear that? That's the sound of a big truck backing into your driveway where you're going to dump all the money that you've earned from the proceeds of selling your home. And you know, you've done well with your initial investment. Remember when you bought your home some years ago? I mean, if you bought as few as five years, you have about 60% appreciation from when you bought your home to the value today. And if you've been hanging out since the 1990s and we're talking 30 years, you probably have nearly 300 percent gain from when you first bought your house. So the question now is not about whether or not you can afford to move because you probably have no mortgage or very little mortgage left. The question is, should you move? So in this video, I'm going to tackle some of the most popular questions I hear from homeowners like you who you don't have to move, but you kind of want to move and you find yourself playing the game of should I stay or should I go? So in this video, we're gonna tackle those questions to help you decide what's the best move for you. Are you ready? If you're thinking about selling, well, you have to live somewhere. So now that makes you a buyer. And if you're considering downsizing, chances are you phased out of a two-story home. Well, with that said, let's take a stroll through this beautiful one-story offered by Britain Homes. Paint, flooring, light fixtures will do wonders and you can totally transform your home from average to spectacular. If this is your first time to this channel, subscribe below and hit the like button. Of course, you're gonna have people come, stay, and enjoy this comfortable ensuite. But just keep in mind, you don't wanna make it too comfortable or they may never leave. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You have a nice home, a larger home. Maybe it's 3,000 square feet, maybe it's 4,000 square feet plus. But the point is, 
there are spaces in your home you have not seen in quite some time. In fact, you've created many museums out of each of your children's bedroom. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. One of the rooms, you still have the moms from homecoming. Maybe you have a queen who was a cheerleader. You know, she was the captain. You still got a megaphone. You have all of the sports accolades from your son, from your daughter. You've collected quite a few things. And I know this is going to sound familiar. You're going to be really able to relate to this. So they come home, right? Thanksgiving, Christmas, and you think that's your moment to strike. You think that while they're visiting, you can invite them to take some of their memorabilia with them. And each time you try, there's a reason why they don't. So they've decided to just leave things there and you've decided you want them to take it. So now you're at an impasse. If they moved on, maybe it's time for you to move on too and then just box up their things and ship it to them, and now you can have your own home back. So the point is, is you've got more space in your home that you're not going to use and you haven't used. And I know you have options. So now you're thinking to yourself, well, do I just stay here, hire a designer to turn in their spaces into mine? Maybe I can redo the home. Maybe I'll update the home. And you can do that because remember, you have so much appreciation in your home, you can afford to do that. But the bigger question is, do you want to? Maybe it's time for you to just move on to the place where you really want to live because you bought that home because you want a certain school district. You want it to have the game room, the media room, and you still want the media room. But maybe you just don't need that space and you've just decided, I'm gonna live a simpler life and I'm cashing in. And so since you've been doing your research because you didn't just wake up today and decide I wanna sell my home, you know that kitchens, baths and primary, those are the main things that people like to see in homes. And the other thing, believe it or not, the laundry room. So we're gonna take a tour of this home and I'm gonna show you some things and point out some things the way you can update on a budget because you're not gonna dump all your money in a re renovation or update because you're thinking about moving. Now we're gonna talk about the traps and some of the trip ups that you as homeowners can experience when you're ready to move to your next place. So you're thinking you're gonna to move to your next place. You're gonna move close to your children because they moved away and you kind of wanna be close to those grandchildren. We all know they are a magnet and they can really accelerate our desire to move that you want to move where you're still comfortable. Just because you're downsizing or changing your address doesn't mean you've changed your lifestyle. You still want elegance, you still want nice, you're gonna still hold on to that media room because you do want it comfortable enough for them to visit, but not comfortable enough for them to stay. So we wanna still make you the primary focus of the things that you can have in your next place, but first the things that you may need to do to get your place ready to go. So we're going to talk about the basics of real estate and you already know this location, condition, and price. And fortunately we can't put wheels underneath your home and move it. So wherever it is, that's the location and we'll just work with that. But the two things we can control, the condition and the price. So let's talk about this renovation. You do not need to hire someone to knock down walls with a hard hat and a caution tape to renovate or update your home. But what you do wanna do is spend some money in your kitchen, your primary, go ahead in that laundry room, cause that could be the hidden wild card that believe it or not, could make a difference in your sales. So we're gonna certainly cover that. But in your kitchen, let's be honest. If you still are using the kitchen, because it's fine by you, I mean, you did your baking and your cooking for the past 30 years, but you haven't done much updating then we definitely want to spend some money in the kitchen. Updated countertops, beautiful faucet, built-in trash can, eye-catching light features. These will give your kitchen a brand new look. And if your cooktop or your ovens have been well, greatly loved throughout the years, code for overly used, then go ahead and spend some money and invest in replacing them. So we can do a one-on-one -on -one discussion, grab one of those consultation links, so we together can discover where should your investment be in the kitchen? Because really a little bit will bring you so much gain when you get ready to sell. Now let's take a look at some of the other hot spots within your home that's gonna make a huge difference. All right, so remember we said the laundry rooms are becoming more in vogue and places where people like to hang out, don't ask me why. 
I just know that it is a place that draws a lot of attention when I'm showing buyers homes. So now think about it, you are a seller. You're not gonna have a demolition, but you do want to accentuate what you have and make sure it's what the buyers want. Now you may not have a sink, but the idea is that you should have storage. And that is a real, real inexpensive fit. If you have the space, then you can have the cabinets. And I know a lot of times we have that bar where we can hang clothes that we've, as if we really did hand wash the clothes. But let's say we do have that bar there for that purpose to dry. It looks so much better if we can close the space off and put cabinets there so you can go ahead and stuff all the things that you really don't want to be seen. But keep in mind, if you're selling a home, we will open them up to see how organized you really are. So you can uh, stuff and store, but keep in mind, your buyer has the right to explore. Okay, this is a game I like to play. Never have I ever, never have I ever had anyone come to me and say, Tracy, oh my gosh, there is too much storage in this home. Take me, I just get me out of here. I like to give people the illusion that you have so much storage that you can go to Sam's and Costco and have room to spare. Now, speaking of storage, this may be the place, your pantry, where you can hide out from the green creeds, because I know you're so excited to have them come over, but at the same time, isn't that the first place they're gonna search? They go straight for the snacks. So we may have to find you another hiding spot. It's really important that we maximize our storage or give the illusion of storage. So if you might need to do a little bit to, let's say, showcase your pantry. Not every home has a walk-in pantry. You've been holding on to that home for 30 years, you may not but we wanna make sure that maybe we can find a space that's not exactly in the kitchen, but you can still use it as a pantry because it's close enough. For example, if you take a look at this particular home, the pantry is not right there, like a walk-in pantry right there in the kitchen, but it is close enough where you can see there's a lot of storage. You wanna maximize your storage space. And I know what you're thinking, well, Tracy, I don't have a lot of storage space to maximize. We can work with that. Empty some of your overstuffed areas and maybe it's as simple as that. So remember one of the spaces I said is a real important place for you to get as much money for your home is your primary suite because this is where people can actually close the door, lock the door, escape and luxuriate. And that's exactly what your buyer is looking for. Your buyer needs to see themselves, no matter the age of your home, as being somewhere spectacular. So one of the important things, I know we focus a lot on the inside and what's going on in the home, but your outside is just as important. Please don't neglect that. I know you already know that curb appeal, landscaping, you know that. But sometimes, for whatever reason, people ignore the backyard. This should be an extension of your home. Now let's face it, you're not gonna knock out walls and windows to create a sliding door, I get it. But what you can do is invest in seating for your backyard because today people want to feel that extension. You want to make sure you put fresh flowers and this is going to sound so rudimentary that you're going to think, hey Tracy, come on, who doesn't already know that? Remember, I'm in a lot of homes. There are a lot of people who may not know that. So let's just say you might be in that 1%, you needed the reminder, but you're out, if you were in Texas, you've got to have a ceiling fan, if not more <laughs> than one, to sit outside to tolerate the heat. Well, the last thing you want is your buyer to faint from heat exhaustion going to your back patio. Hi, I'm Tracy Sorrell with the DFW Life, and I help homeowners just like you sell their homes in and around a DFW Metroplex. And if you're watching this video, if you hung with me this long, then you are thinking about selling your home and downsizing. Maybe you don't need smaller square feet, you just don't need upstairs anymore. Your hips and your knees will thank you. But in this video, we've covered some things that will help you secure as much money as you can during the sale of your home so you can use all that you've gained because you had a very wise investment when you purchased your home to add to your next place. And be honest, you have so much equity, you may be able to pay with cash and still have things left over to go shopping, take your family trip, to just live your life. Now you have the grandchildren, but here's the thing. You want to move close to the grandchildren, but not so close that now you are the permanent babysitter because you still have a lot of life left to live. So if you're thinking about making a move and you're not quite sure if you should now or later, give me a call, comment below, grab one of those one-on-one -on -one consultation links so together we can do the pros and the cons and determine if right now 
is the best place for you to create your new memory and your new home.